Today's world is highly dependent on fossil fuels like natural gas, coal, and crude oil. They fuel our economies and almost every aspect of modern life. But with the global focus slowly shifting to alternative and clean energy resources, what could the future look like? Here's one aspect. Fossil fuel extraction, production and consumption maintains and expands our economy, but our dependency is unsustainable and the pandemic has shed new light on our relationship with fuel. In April 2020, the price of crude oil in the US dropped below zero in response to stagnating economic demand. At one point, there was so much supply and so little demand that oil producers were effectively paying buyers almost $40 a barrel to take excess supplies away from them. In the US, the price of crude oil has since rebounded, but ongoing tensions between Russia and Saudi Arabia over the price of oil and global shutdowns of supply chains have sent global prices plummeting. If it continues, it could be a bigger problem for the economy than even the pandemic. Across the Pacific, China's energy mix still remains hugely reliant on fossil fuels. Two-thirds of electricity generation comes from coal, which in turn drives the world's busiest manufacturing industry. High demand for power has made China the world's biggest importer of crude oil, surpassing Japan to become the world's largest importer of natural gas in 2018. As we begin to uncover the huge importance of sustainability and the harm caused by fossil fuels, countries and leaders are being called on to act judiciously with how we use our finite resources. In 2017, China invested $127 billion in developing green energy, that's almost half of all global investment. Ambitious projects like the world's largest solar farm in Qinghai province have helped the country bring down pollution levels, while upcoming projects also show promise. Beijing's Winter Olympics in 2022 will use vehicles powered by hydrogen gas and grid parity where green power becomes equal in cost or even cheaper than traditional energy sources is set to be achieved by the same year. While these efforts are bold, there's still work to be done and challenges remain. Though the cost of green energies is falling, infrastructure like wind turbines and solar panels still remain costly and manufacturers are reluctant to switch out sources of pollution for greener but more expensive mechanisms. Government regulations are tightening in many countries, urging polluters to clean up their act, ushering in new forms of green energy and making our world a brighter, cleaner place for all of us. So as we look to the future and the preservation and care of our planet, we must be diligent in our policy and practice from government to citizens. We're all called on to be stewards of the planet. I am James Chow, you're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.